गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टुडे वी स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर सॉलिड स्टेट दैट इज योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ सो बिफोर द स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर वी नो अबाउट द मैटर एनीथिंग विच हैव मास एंड ऑक्यूपाई स्पेस दैट्स कॉल्ड मैटर मैटर आर बेसिकली थ्री टाइप्स सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द पार्टिकल एंड द नेचर लाइक फ्लूडिटी फ्लूडिसिटी दे दे आर बेसिकली फाउंड इन लिक्विड एंड गैसेज बट इट एबसेंट इन सॉलिड स्टेट वाई बिकॉज दिस हैपन बिकॉज इफ यू कंसिडर द सॉलिड सॉलिड द पार्टिकल्स आर अरेन्ज इन ए डेफिनेट पैटर्न इन विच देर आर लेस इंटरमोलिकुलर स्पेस इफ यू कंसिडर लाइक पार्टिकल्स वट इज द मीन ऑफ पार्टिकल्स पार्टिकल्स आर एटम्स आयंस एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स सो इफ वी कंसिडर द टू पार्टिकल्स देर विल बी ए स्पेस नोन एज इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर स्पेसिस देर इज ए फोर्स एक्ट बिटवीन दीज पार्टिकल्स एंड दैट फोर्स बाई विच दीज पार्टिकल्स कैन कंबाइन are known as inter molecular force this force is helpful to bind these particles and close to each other that's why they show a compact and fixed shape and fixed volume so on the basis of that we say that the definition solid solid basically solid is a the matter which show which possesses definite mass definite shape and definite volume okay so on behalf of that solid solid is basically it is a type of matter we in which they possess definite shape and definite volume the particle show definite that's why they are compact to each other so on the basis of that after that why solid why matter exist in solid so the first we say about that solid basically in solid there will be two factor one is known as thermal energy and the another factor is intermolecular force intermolecular force as we uh, as you know that uh, we already told uh, told you that intermolecular force is the force which act between the two particles and these force is very uh, strong in case of solid that's why they the particles are come close to each other and that's why there will be a less intermolecular spaces in between the two particles so solid show basically compact structure and due to this compact structure they show fixed shape fixed volume with fixed size whereas thermal energy thermal energy if we talk about thermal energy if we increase the temperature increases temperature thermal energy energy is also increases what we say here 
if we increase the temperature of any solid due to this temperature the particles gets apart to each other and converted into a free state converted into a free state when when we increase the temperature of the solid thermal energy also increases and due to this the particles get apart to each other whereas in case of if we decreases the temperature thermal energy is also decreases and the force between the particles that is the intermolecular force will be high and that's why they possess a compact structure so there will be a relation between a uh, thermal energy and compact uh, thermal energy and intermolecular force are thermal energy is inversely proportional to intermolecular force so what we say here if the thermal energy increases intermolecular force of attraction decreases so there will be a inversely proportional relations now we talk about the types of solids basically solids are two type solid basically in two form exist one is known as amorphous whereas another is crystalline amorphous what is amorphous amorphous and crystalline are basically is a term of solid why because crystalline is a pure solid whereas amorphous are known as pseudo solid what is the mean of pseudo solid that means not a true solids it exhibits like a solid but it is a not a uh, true solid so what is amorphous if we talk about amorphous just like this plastic glass the examples are some of the examples are glass or it is also known as super cooled liquid whenever you see the Uh, glasses in your window after some times after uh, after uh, some times you will see that the bottom of the window glass is thicker why this happen due to the gravity continuously due to the temperature the particles move from up to down due to the gravity and that's why the bottom of the glass gets thicker if we talk about crystalline for example we see the salt nacl nacl basically is exhibits a crystalline structure there are many uh, mm, uh, there are many uh, methods by which which uh, we can differentiate amorphous and crystalline first of all the point is the first point is long range order long range order means any crystalline substance is made up of crystals and these crystals show a definite arrangement of the molecules so if we show like there will be a regular same kind of arrangement and this arrangements due to this they show a regular long range pattern in which this uh, crystalline solids uh, show like a hexagonal each if you see that each one is show hexagonal so there will be a long range pattern if the pattern is repeated over a long range that basic property only occurs in crystalline solids but where when we talk about amorphous there will be no any pattern that means they show 
डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अरेंजमेंट्स एंड दी ड्यू टू दिस अरेंजमेंट this particular arrangement shows by amorphous that means there is no any repeated crystal structure so this only occur in amorphous structure next point is melting point so when we talk about melting point every crystalline solid show a fixed melting point if we talk about crystal lines so they show fixed melting point any crystalline uh, a crystalline solid show a fixed melting point whereas they show a wide range of melting point we know you know about the melting point melting point is a point at which both liquid and solid state coexist together so that is the main point so what we say here crystalline soap fixed melting point whereas amorphous soap a wide range of melting points third one is sharp cut if we took any solids like crystalline solids if we cut with the help of knife they give a smooth sharp cut and these smooth sharp cut or plain surface only occur in crystalline solids whereas in case of uh, amorphous they show a rough cut that means the surface will be rough in uh, structure and these occurs in amorphous next one is isotropy and an isotropy isotropy and an isotropy isotropy means uh, in this type of uh, in this type we talk about the physical parameters of the crystalline solids physical parameters like uh, electrical conductance yeah electrical conductivity reflex reflex mm, electrical conductivity if we consider any crystalline what will happen here if the crystalline solid if we uh, pass the electric current you will get different conductivity at different point that means ki if we pass the electrical conductivity we will get different result at different position that means in all sides we never get the same result this will occur due to the crystalline structure and this property is known as an isotropy but if the physical parameters like electrical conductance or refractive index if in all direction they show the same result that property is known as isotropy that property is known as isotropy for example if we draw a structure like so if we draw structure you will see that the all same molecules at the same plane are but in the case of when we uh, change the axis this is the y axis and this is z axis if we see that there will be a different arrangements and this arrangement due to the dis di different arrangement they show the an isotropic property and this property occur in crystalline solids but in case of amorphous due to the uh, irregular arrangement of the molecules 
in all direction they show the same uh, parameters like electrical conductivity physical parameters so this is the basic difference between uh, amorphous and crystalline solids okay